some B2C stuff, I just failed. Right? My, my thought process is so engineered to uh, economics and supply and demand. So depending upon what you're trying to uh, create, know where you're starting and know that not any individual success story is going to be your case study. Right? Do not look at, this guy became successful because he did this. That's not going to be reflective for you. You sometimes have to be at the right time the economy is. Sometimes you have to work on based on the right trends that are, are, are coming in. And that's what makes business. That's what essentially drives economics, right? And I think too many people spend time online researching success, hoping to imitate it. And we shouldn't do that. My question would be that, you know, we see a lot of these tech startups coming up, you know, a lot of them closing down every day as well. And that is the new, you know, the kind of the thing in there, the in thing. And, you know, on the other side, if you look at what the industry was doing in the past was a lot of brick and mortar. So what is your take on, you know, what is a good industry to get into maybe? Or like, you know, what are your thoughts on tech business versus brick and mortar, you know? Because at the same time, if you look into the, the barrier of entry into the brick and mortar is a lot higher versus what is in a tech and the success rate of a tech, you know, the chances of growth are also a lot lesser. So I think that's a good question. I think... Uh, sector-wise or 